Hey everybody, welcome to week five. Let's work on some critical listening. So critical listening is basically when you are listening critically or you're listening for the elements of the music that you're listening to. What's the bass doing? What is the melody of the top line doing? Are there inner voices? What are those doing? And eventually it's going to be what kind of snare drum is that? Or is that a keyboard that sounds like it's pointing back to the 80s? Or is it uh, a synth keyboard? And this is going to kind of expand and and bring more relevance to the music that you listen to going forward. So let's let's use an example from uh, last week. We'll use I Got Rhythm by George and uh, Ira Gershwin. And we'll just start from the chorus. And I'll play it for you on a single instrument so you can really hear the elements one by one. Okay, so when you're listening to this, listen now for the bass movement versus the melodic movement, or the I got rhythm, I got music. So when you're hearing this again, bass, I got rhythm. So... And if you noticed, it was bass, melody, bass, melody, together, bass and melody. And then melody, bass. So bass, melody, bass, melody, together, melody, bass. Now, listen for the inner voices. So those, those are the other voices, or other pitches, basically. Uh, the inside voices, so... Sorry. So if you can hear, those are harder to hear because they're not on the top or the bottom. They're in the middle, right? That's going to take some more time to really nail down, but that's what you're working towards. Bass, hearing the bass, hearing the melody, being able to isolate and hear those, and then hearing the inner voices. Let's let's check out another example. This is... Um, Ain't Misbehaving from last uh, the prior week. That was chapter three. Uh, and we heard um, Louis Armstrong sing and play it. So if you hear that, you can hear the bass note moving. You can hear the melody line. So, so listen to that very closely. Sorry. Now, there's not a ton of inner voices on this because there's a lot of movement in the melody line. Ain't misbehaving. And to, to trans to transcend that on a guitar, you have to you have to move back and forth between strings. But let's hear let's hear that built out a little bit more. See if you can identify the bass versus the melody. Transition the course. Anyway, so the idea here is you want to, as you're listening to music this week and your own music going forward, even if you're just hearing a commercial, try to identify what's the bass, what's the melody doing, are there inner voices, are there other instruments, are they pointing to a time period? Is this song supposed to sound like the 80s? Maybe uh, is it supposed to sound like the, the swing era? Um, it's a really... It's a really informed way to be able to enjoy listening even more and enrich life. All right. Have a great week. Take care.